Howdy, y'all, and welcome to the first Lake Street News episode of 2024. Yeehaw, partners! Today we've got some stories about IHS's STEM program, TCAT, USPS, and much, much more. Ithaca High School's Technology and Engineering Department has been named STEM School of Excellence by ITEA. Whatever that is, ITEA annually recognizes outstanding schools for providing a great experience through the STEM program. Quote, our department is very excited and proud to represent Ithaca High School as one of this year's nationally recognized schools, end quote. Mr. Shine of the Tech Ed Department said. All schools, colleges, and universities are eligible to apply to ITEA's School of Excellence Recognition Program. This year, ITEA named 29 schools and six colleges and universities STEM Schools of Excellence. All recipients will officially be awarded their very own amazing banner and certificate at ITEA's annual conference in Memphis, Tennessee this March which technology, ed technology educators Ms. Blake and Mr. Briegel will be attending. The Ithaca City School District will ask voters to approve a $125 million spending limit for a sweeping electric school bus infrastructure project this May. New York State has mandated that all school districts transition to an all-electric school bus fleet by 2035. The district is planning to build a new bus garage plus a series of solar panel arrays more electric bus chargers, and a new electrical transformer. In local news, Megan Martinez, a college professor at Ithaca College, won her second consecutive cupcake crown. The Sophie Fund, an Ithaca mental health nonprofit, holds a cupcake baking contest every year, aiming to see who can make the tastiest treat. Martinez's vanilla cupcakes layered with delectable chocolate frosting and homemade raspberry jam were originally a macaroon recipe that she had, quote, fantasized about making a big cake out of, unquote. We've got some smoking hot news for you up next. William Jane, the marijuana dispensary located on the Ithaca Commons, temporarily closed last Wednesday to undergo renovations, which are expected to take around three months. Owner William Durham opened the temporary pop-up in, in March of 2023 and expected he'd pause the sales around after a month to start the construction. If possible, Durham wants to open another pop-up location on the Commons to offset the potential loss of revenue and to keep some of his employees working. If you ask me, he should be riding high by now. <laughs> this just in, TCAT General Manager Scott Vanderpool will retire March 1st. Vanderpool has spent seven years in the position and four decades in the industry. In 1983, he began as a part-time bus driver in Syracuse. Vanderpool said that in a press release from TCAT, that he has been thinking about retiring since the arrival of his first grandchild in the summer of 2021. He said that the decision was difficult, but that TCAT is blessed with, quote, dedicated staff, all of whom care deeply about our riders, unquote. A former Ithaca Postal employee was sentenced to a year of probation after he stole money orders from the United States Postal Service. The employee, 40-year-old Stephen Perrin, pled guilty and admitted that while working for the USPS in Ithaca, New York, he stole 10 money orders totaling around two and a half thousand dollars. Perrine was ordered to pay back the money to the USPS and was then fired by them. Now, I would make a joke here, but I can't get the delivery right. Thank you for watching Lake Street News. And have a great week. I do not want to do another take. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah, that was like kind of bad.